Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Today is episode number 11, and we are about to battle. We're not about to go to battle, we are to battle. So, um, in the last episode, we had this, uh, ship, uh, crash into the ground, and... Um, what happened, we took some form of, like, transmitter or something, and we gave it to the MSI, but the Iron Class didn't like that, and they are now attacking the MSI, and we need to defend the MSI, basically. This way. We need to push through and take that bridge. Right, they're towards the ruins. Here they come. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. We can get some more kills. Uh, let's try taking the pistol, see if we can get any long distance kills. Nice. I'm kind of glad with the choice that I made with this gun. We got an extended barrel on this as well. Give me your loot. All I care about is your loot. I don't care about anything else because all I care about is your loot. Yeah. Well, he's just ash now. Uh, let's keep going around. Oh no, the poor MSI trooper died. Gutted. The MSI are now our favourite, I think. I don't know, are the MSI the good guys? Oh, we actually get to kill Graham. No way. Graham came. Well, that was his fault. Cause he about to die, my man. Well, that was utter bullshit. Nothing like a good tussle. It's up, boss. What on earth is this? Hang on. Perfect time to use it. Let's try this. Haha! <laughs> Are we in slow motion? We were in like a weird slow motion state then. Uh, yeah, no thanks, no thanks. You can stay away. Felix is dead. Mioka's dead too. What?
Why are Felix and the Oka dead? Oh no. Oh wait, what? I didn't expect them to come back alive either. Die! I absolutely love this. This is amazing. I'm low on health, low on health, low on health. I don't like this. Right, uh, I need to quickly take a look at my inventory and see what we can take that will give us... Ah, oh, no. Shit. Right, let's go and kill these fuckers. I can't get past that armor. Oh. The company oh. Hmm. Where's all the people gone? I need health. Uh, bit cartridges, the likes of that, they're alright. Uh, we got weapon parts, ammo, weapon parts, auto mag pistol, that's cool. And we're alive. Yeah, that's how we fucking do it. <laughs> Take him down. Come on. Die. Stupid thing. Get behind cover! I'm not recovering you again. Getting loads of crits there. Oh gosh.
Come on, come on, come on. I forgot to save. Hold on. Save. No, I can't save. Shit. I'd run out of ammo. The fuck? What just happened? Ah! Right, so we're back at the bridge. I still don't get what just happened then, but it totally died. The game just stopped working. Um, so I restarted it all. We're back where we were. But I was so close to winning that. That's the last of them. Nice. Uh, I am over encumbered again. Uh, let's take a look. Don't need that flamethrower. Definitely don't need that flamethrower. Definitely don't need that one. Let's go. Come on, come on. We could have been friends. Come on, come on, come on. I don't have enough health left to lose. Joel, you know let's give it a try. Yes. How do I, like, heal them? Never mind. How do I heal them? I want them to heal. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try a different approach. Go in the outside route. Come on, come on, come on. Die! Level up. Defeat the Iconoclasts. Oh, Graham didn't have any loot. Gutted. Right, now we got to go back through the entrance over here. That was so annoying, though, that the game crashed like that. I was so close. Game, I had it under control. 
Why do you have to die on me like that? Transition to the Bay of the Stella. Help the chairman and minister Clark defeat our foes. I wish, but I can't be bothered. This game is just amazing, though. I absolutely love playing it. Felix, I overheard you listening to Tossball. You a fan? We did indeed, sir. I can Well, first of all, I've noticed a little bug that when you try and talk to people, it automatically skips the first line. Oh, I certainly will. Between our reinstatement on the board and the gain of this ship, we'll usher in a new age of prosperity for the people of Monarch. That's a hefty promise. You've got Monarch's hopes up, Sanjar. Don't go messing this up like our last overlords did. And... Perhaps in time, I can use my position on the board to turn things around for the rest of Halcyon. You really mean that? That's the nicest... Celia, put that down in today's minutes. Already done, sir. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you. And good luck to you. Uh, apparently I need Greetings. to talk to you. And welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries. Producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. What can I do for you today? You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. So we need to go but to Velma. I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Uh, we need to go over to the workshop. Where is that? I can't go that way. Stella Bay Warehouse. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. Uh -huh. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. Fair enough. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Uh, I don't have time for this. Uh, I want to go see Phineas or what's his name. Um, because we will sort out side missions afterwards if that's what you guys want to see. I want to try and get this game finished as soon as possible, preferably. Grim, what's up? My main man, Grim. Right, so what we need to do now is we need to speak with Phineas. Welcome back. What do you mean? I have received a transmission from Roseway from a Dr. Shaw. Beginning playback now. What? Oh, is this on? Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast. Hello? I'm trying to reach the captain of the Unreliable. I'll keep this short lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. Ooh. 
The unit is a cleaning sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Interesting. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. I think we found that out last time. See you soon, Captain. Um, you know what? Where is... Roseway. Roseway landing pad. We're going to head there and see what he wants. Because he wanted something. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Right, let's go to the landing pad. Uh, I'm going to take you two. Right, we are inside Roseway. And I need to work out where... Uh, where this nutcase was at. Uh, I'm trying to... I think it might be this one. Is this it? Yes. Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. I went to great risk to send that. What did you mean by an item of great value? Uh -huh. I knew that it entice you to return to our dangerously unprofitable township. I asked you here because I have a working prototype of the Alti nature, Anti Cleo's very first weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated. The schematics you fetch for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, Anti Cleo R&D felt otherwise. The market's already saturated, they said. Weapons are everywhere. They aren't interested in mass-producing the Alti nature, which makes this an illegal prototype weapon. Given your unlawful proclivities, I thought it'd be safest with you. So here we are. I'd rather see it in the hands of a free agent than destroyed. Uh, I'll be sure to put it to good use. Uh, I don't have a clue what it was that I got given, though. Uh, where is it? Hundred and ninety eight DPS, that's like nothing. Um we'll give it a try. We'll swap it out for the science gun that we got at the moment. But I don't presume that was worth the long trip. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Whoa, that's Phineas's lab. That looks stunning. Right, uh, first of all, we needed to talk to Pavati hey, about Captain, something. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? What? No. If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. <laughs> so, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, Law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. Huh? I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. Sounds I like she likes you. Yet, if I'm misinterpreting, I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. Makes me feel warmed at the heart. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. It wasn't nothing body, if that's what you're thinking. It was just... honest. And full of typos. <laughs> Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Uh... Come sure. On, Captain, this is no time to be fooling on me. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Okay, we can go grab a drink later. Um, let's go to Phineas's lab. I'm gonna take... Ah! I wanted to take Pavati and Nyoka. I didn't want to leave Nyoka there for so long. Auntie Cleo's storage facility. Phineas's improved science lab. Never... What? It's... I don't understand the thing that I'm looking at. <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. Yeah. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mine the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Why are you behind a glass panel? Ugh! Sisty pig. Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. You. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Yay, exciting. Woo. Uh, what's so important about these chemicals? If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you. But, to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Huh. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. Yes, in that does sound impossible. impossible. You must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. Carmen. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. 
Anything I should know about Carmen? That's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. My money can buy. <laughs> of course, of course. Um. What's on your mind? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured. But uh, from a safe distance. So why are we in this room? It's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Alright, I'll be back. Um, what is that shrink ray? Let's give this a shot. It's pretty cool though that that gun just shrinks people down. Uh, what's here? I will take all the stuff that you have, which is pretty much nothing. But anyways, that is going to be it for this episode today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, then hit that join button. It means the world to me, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.